The History of Toys Toys are more than just fun and games for kids. They are a child's work. Most toys provide at least some opportunity for children to learn. The best toys engage a child's senses, spark their imaginations, and encourage them to interact with others. Dolls have always been around. They have many purposes, from magic and protection to religious roles and entertainment. They were made from materials that were available, like clay, stone, wood, bone, and ivory. There is also archaeological evidence that dolls were the oldest known toys. The spinning top, invented in 5000 BC, was one of the most beloved toys in ancient and even modern times. Here is a wooden, cone-shaped, decorated top found in the tomb of King Tut. When the top is thrown on the ground and the string that is wrapped around it is pulled, it turns like a balanced whirl until it loses its power of movement. In 4000 BC, Babylonians played a board game that was the ancestor of chess. Many historians believe philosopher Xerxes in Babylon created this game, which is very similar. Chess can last for 10 to 60 minutes. Tournament games last anywhere from about 10 minutes in fast chess to 6 hours or more. About 2,800 years ago, during the Zhou Dynasty, the Chinese developed kites using silk fabric for sail material and bamboo for a strong, lightweight framework. Kites have been used for human flight, military applications, science and meteorology, photography, generating power, and aerodynamic experiments. Many countries have made the claim to the invention of the yo-yo, but documented evidence is lacking. Historians argue that the yo-yo is Greek in origin. It was repopularized in 1929 by Donald Duncan, and on April 12, 1985, a yellow plastic Duncan Imperial became the first yo-yo in space. Ancient Greek children played many games and toys that children today still play from hiding a fistful of fingers behind their back and having their friends guess how many, to toy horses. Toy horses have evolved with technology where they can trot on their own. They are still a favorite today. Early examples of playing cards can be traced to India, Persia, and Egypt, but most experts agree that playing cards originated in China. Alongside games such as dominoes and mahjong, the Chinese invented paper and printing. There are similarities that exist between today's cards and decks that were made 800 years ago. In 1743, the first recorded use of roller skates was in a London stage performance, as seen as in the first image. The inventor of this skate is unknown, but in 1760, the second pictured skate was first recorded by John Joseph Merlin, who created this primitive inline skate with small metal wheels. The world's first commercial jigsaw puzzle was a map puzzle made in the early 1760s by a young London map maker named John Spilsbury. He mounted a map of the world onto a hardwood board and carved out the shapes of countries to create what he called a dissection. This dissection map is still a favorite puzzle today. The idea for the kaleidoscope came from Scottish scientist David Brewster in 1816 he was studying many aspects of physical sciences, including polarization optics and the properties of light when he emitted a kaleidoscope. He named his invention from the Greek words, kalos meaning beautiful, eidos meaning form, and skopos meaning watcher. Therefore, it means beautiful form watcher. The bicycle is something that has been developed over time. The first was created in the 1860s, the velocipede or bone shaker, was a two-wheeled bicycle with pedals and cranks on the front wheel. It was known as the bone shaker because the combination of a wood frame and metal tires made for a very uncomfortable ride. Did you know that the teddy bear was invented in honor of President Theodore Roosevelt? It began when Roosevelt was on a bear hunting trip in Mississippi. Unlike other hunters in the group, he had not located a single bear. His assistants tied a bear to a tree and suggested that he shoot it. He saw this as extremely unsportsmanlike and would not shoot the bear. In 1902, Benny and Smith developed and introduced the St. All Marking Crayon. Then Benny, working with his wife, 
developed its own famous product line of wax crayons, which it sold under the brand name Crayola. Faced with the challenge of building a structure that could withstand the powerful earthquakes that regularly shook Japan, Frank Lloyd Wright sketched an ingenious design that relied on a system of interlocking timber beams that would allow the hotel to sway but not collapse in case of a tremor. The hotel was never built for cash flow, however, Lincoln Logs were. Navy mechanical engineer Richard James invented the slinky by accident. In 1943, he was working to devise springs that could keep sensitive ship equipment steady at sea. After accidentally knocking off some samples off a shelf, he watched in amazement as they gracefully walked down instead of falling. The name Lego is an abbreviation of the two Danish words, let go, meaning play well. The Lego group was founded in 1932 by Old Christensen. The Lego brick is the most important product and has been named Toy of the Century twice. In 1949, Ruth and Elliot Handler introduces Barbie. Ruth immediately recognized that experimenting with the future from a safe distance through pretend play was an important part of growing up. Barbie has received a lot of negative attention because of her unhealthy and unrealistic measurements. The Etch-A-Sketch has done a lot in its little more than a half a century lifespan. It has sold more than 175 million units worldwide since it hit stores in July of 1960. It has appeared in a number of movies and TV shows, such as the Toy Story movies, Elf, and a recent episode of Pretty Little Liars. In 1974, a young professor of architecture in Budapest, Hungary, named Erno Rubik, created an object that was not supposed to be possible. Little did he expect that the Rubik's Cube would become the world's best-selling toy ever.